our blessed people tuned in globally. I know that this is a very, very exciting time in the history of the church. I want to share with you what the Lord has spoken this uh, time, the day before yesterday, blessed people. There was a tremendous visitation of the Lord that took place here, right here at the head offices. At this place, uh, the Lord visited with his servant in a very, very mighty way. I saw the glory of the Lord. First, he showed me the tremendous glory when the glory entered here. The tremendous, mighty glory that entered here. Very blinding glory of the Lord God Almighty. And then after that, then the Lord God Almighty, what he did is that he took his hand, he took his right hand, the hand of God the Father, and he touched my left hand, my left prophetic hand. He touched the palm, the palm of my hand, using the palm of his right hand. After touching, and then he left the hand a little bit above me for some time, and then he disappeared. The hand of the Lord disappeared. So this is the kind of visitation that is taking place at this hour. And I know that there is a big healing service that I announced the other time that may come in the course of time as the Lord leads. When he showed me, he took me to his throne room and then presented this tremendous, wonderful leaves of the tree of life. And this time he showed me the tremendous glory, the fresh anointing that covered the mountain. This time he placed it on the mountain right ahead of me. And so this is what the Lord is saying at this time. The Messiah is coming. This is an exciting time of visitation. The latter visitation promised in the Bible is here. The second wine, the second wine is now in the church. The tongues and the lips of the church have tasted, the tongue of the church has tasted the second wine. So surely there is no stopping us, there is no stopping the church. They are now forward marching towards the glorious kingdom of God. They have centered and prioritized the things of God. The things that matter most to the Lord, righteousness of the Lord, the holiness of the Lord, receiving Christ and being right with God, in right standing with Jehovah Yahweh, being baptized totally in complete immersion, and then being raised out of there with Christ Jesus, being resurrected from that burial with him, that death and burial, and then being resurrected with him, Everyone, everybody is now fighting to be right with the Lord. And there can be no greater exciting time in the church when now we can see the finishing line. Everybody can see the glorious stairs. And so the race has now entered the home stretch, the final phase. And everybody can see now the prize. The glorious stairs have been now lowered. They have been raised before the church like this. And everybody is racing, whether you are a lawyer in town in Nairobi here, or in the cities of Namibia, the cities of USA, Finland, Spain, Barcelona, Madrid, and many other cities there, um, in the cities of Argentina, wherever you are, Australia, now the finishing line has been thrown in front, and everybody is now racing on their own track, ensuring that they are running right, ensuring that the baton is in their hands, that they deliver the finishing line, that they may climb the glorious stairs and enter. So there is no generation like this. It's a very awesome time. It's a very, very powerful time. And then after that, this night, the Lord showed me that I was processing my travel to Israel. So there is so much happening within the spiritual realm. And this is a time at which to make sure that the Christianity is done with diligence, that now your hands show dexterity. Your spiritual hands as you're working for the Lord in the vineyard of the Lord that bring forth spiritual dexterity as you serve the Lord in order to execute your prowess in salvation now. That the fineness, the fineness of the Christian salvation should come out now. This is not some time, it's a blessed time. And uh, these are the things that I want to share with you. Yesterday, uh, the night before this, God the Father himself visited with me in a very mighty way. The glory came, a blinding glory struck this place, at this new head office here. And he took his right hand, the right hand, and he touched the palm. His palm touched the palm of my left hand. And then he left his hand a little bit above me in the sky like this. After that, he took it away. And then after that, 
today I see that uh, the two servants of the Lord are processing their travel to Israel. They were communicating with the embassy to travel, to begin the missions of God. But for now, until that happens, let the church prepare very well. You can see now there is a bit of movement in the Middle East. The war that I've been talking about since 2005, 27 September, from Mbeya, Tanzania. You can see now the formations, the war formations that are taking place within the Gulf and the Middle East. And Israel is at the center of that war, just that you may know. And I've seen all these things, but we don't know when they happen. All we know is that the church needs to prepare. The glorious cares have been raised. Every Christian is now running the race with a lot of joy and smile in their faces, and they have been re-energized. They are now running with the greater strength. They say, I will finish. I will finish. I will cross the finishing line, and I will enter the prize, the kingdom of glory, the eternal kingdom of my Father. When people will be celebrating in heaven, I will be among the number celebrating. I will not languish in hell, but I will celebrate in the kingdom of peace, the kingdom of glory, the kingdom of my Father, the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is coming to take the church. Jesus Christ, my Lord, is coming to finally bring his bride into the prepared kingdom of God in heaven. So blessed people, be holy, be righteous, turn away from sexual sin. Turn away from perversion, the gospel of prosperity, the lies, all these things that have deluded the church. Turn away from the false prophets, false apostles. Turn away from this worldliness within the church, the nudity, the tight dressing of women to show their bodies, that immorality and lust. Turn away from that and be holy. Just simply be holy. Read the Bible. Pray every time. Worship the Lord. Ask him to help you. Talk to the Holy Spirit that you may be able to enter the glorious kingdom of heaven. May the Lord bless you. Shalom. Toda.